This is a small house rotunda. It joins the main capital rotunda with the old house chambers. In this room are three statues, including this one, of the Reverend John Peter Gabriel Muhlenberg. In the 1770s, Reverend Muhlenberg pastored two churches in the tiny town of Woodstock, Virginia, on the west side of the Blue Ridge Mountains. One of those churches was an English-speaking Episcopal church, and the other was a German-speaking Lutheran church. In addition to pastoring these two churches, Reverend Muhlenberg was also a member of the Virginia legislature. In mid-January of 1776, Pastor Muhlenberg returned from the state legislature in Williamsburg to his churches in Woodstock. Even though the Declaration of Independence had not yet been signed, armed conflict was fully underway. In fact, British troops were already at work in Virginia. They marched on Williamsburg, seizing the Patriots' gunpowder and munitions. Patrick Henry quickly rallied 5,000 Virginians to retake those munitions or to demand full repayment by the British for what they had seized. With his state on the brink of war, on January the 21st, 1776, Reverend Muhlenberg stood in his pulpit and delivered what was to become his farewell sermon. Let me read from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time for war, and a time for peace. In the language of Holy Writ, there is a time for all things. A time to pray, a time to preach, but a new time has come. There is a time to fight, and that time is now. If we fail to stand against the oppressor, if we don't rise up to protect ourselves and our precious liberties, we will lose them to the tyrant, for none else will take up this cause for us. We must make the sacrifice. We must bear up in arms in the fight. So I call you now to stand with me in this cause, most urgent and noble. Outside the church, Pastor Muhlenberg ordered drummers to beat for recruits, and some 300 men from his congregations joined him that day. They became known as the 8th Virginia Regiment. The Reverend John Peter Gabriel Muhlenberg went on to become one of America's highest ranking military officers. He finished with the rank of Major General, one of only 17 officers in the American Revolution to achieve that rank. And you will find him in the picture in the rotunda of the surrender of the British at Yorktown. This statue, depicting the moment in which Pastor Muhlenberg removed his clerical robes to reveal his military uniform to his congregation, reflects yet another aspect of America's rich spiritual heritage depicted so widely throughout the Capitol building. Interestingly, John Peter Gabriel Muhlenberg had a brother, and his brother was also a minister. And he's also featured in a prominent location here in the Capitol. John Peter's brother was the Reverend Frederick Augustus Muhlenberg, pastor of a church in New York City. Frederick had at first been critical of his brother becoming involved as a minister in defense of liberty. But when the British arrived in New York City in 1777, they drove Frederick from his own church and then desecrated the building. Frederick thus found himself rethinking his position, and he too made the decision to get involved. You can find his portrait hanging directly behind the current house chambers in what is called the speaker's lobby. It is a room filled with portraits of all the previous speakers of the house. Why is the portrait of the Reverend Frederick Augustus Muhlenberg prominently displayed there? Because he was the original speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. In fact, his signature is one of only two on the Bill of Rights. Another remarkable contribution to American liberty by yet another minister of the gospel.